Welcome back to the ABCs of RPGs, where we teach you the basics of tabletop role-playing games. In this series, we're teaching how to play Avatar Legends, the role-playing game. Specifically, in this video, we're teaching you the rules surrounding moves. If you watched part two, the game fundamentals video, I went over how the game is played as a conversation. The players will narrate their character's actions and role play through situations. As this happens, there will come times where they trigger moves. These moves are sets of rules to resolve uncertainty and adding to the story in unexpected ways. In general, triggering a move will require a roll of two six-sided dice and will usually add one of your stats. When you roll, one of three things can happen. A weak hit, a strong hit, or a miss. A weak hit happens when you roll a seven through nine. This means you succeed in what you're trying to do, but it could come with some complication or consequence. Strong hit happens when you roll a 10 or higher. This means you succeed in what you're trying to do it might even come with a bonus. A miss happens when you roll a six or lower. That means the game master decides what happens. Let's start with the eight basic moves that any player can trigger through the course of play. These can be found in chapter five of the core rules and there's a helpful summary of them in the appendix. First up, assess the situation. This can happen when you're trying to find an escape route, looking for danger, or anytime you want to get some information in a tense moment. When you assess a situation, you roll with creativity, and on a weak hit, you can ask the game master a question, while a strong hit will let you ask too. Next is guide and comfort. Anytime you go to offer wisdom, guidance, or comfort, you will trigger this move. You'll roll with harmony, and on a weak hit, the target can choose between two options. They can clear a condition or two fatigue and ask you a question that you must answer honestly. Or the other option, they can shut you down and inflict a condition on you while shifting your balance. On a strong hit, they must accept your offering and you shift their balance. The third is intimidate. This one is simple. It triggers when you threaten someone. You roll with passion and on a weak hit, the target will choose from one of the options listed in the rules. They could run away, they could back down, they could give in, but with some stipulation, or they might attack, but with a condition already marked. On a strong hit, you can pick one of the four options that they won't be able to react with. Next is plead. This is another simple one and triggers when you try to get someone to help you in some way. When triggered, you roll with harmony. On a weak hit, the target will agree to help, but will want something in return. On a strong hit, they will help immediately. Next up is push your luck, and it triggers when you want to let fate take its course. You roll with passion. With a weak hit, you accomplish whatever you're trying to do, but the game master will assign some cost. With a strong hit, you will also get some new opportunity from the game master. Relying on your skills and training can cover a lot of situations. It could trigger when you want to sneak past some guards or identify a wild plant. Anytime your expertise and knowledge could apply, this move triggers. You roll with focus. On a strong hit, you do it, but if you roll a weak hit, the game master will describe a possible consequence that you can accept or reject at the cost of one fatigue. The penultimate basic move is trick. When you try to trick an NPC, you roll creativity. On a hit, the target will fall for it and you get to choose a bonus. A weak hit picks one and a strong hit picks two. The options are, they can stumble and you get plus one to roll against them going forward. They could act a fool and the game master will give an additional opportunity or they could overcommit and be deceived for a while. Finally, the last basic move is help. At any time it is reasonable, you can help an ally with a roll and add plus one to the result and take one fatigue. The next set of moves all have to do with a character's balance. All characters have at least one principle, and these moves can be used to affect the balance of yours and others. If you ever take an action in accordance with one of your principles, you live up to your principle. You mark one fatigue and roll with that principle instead of the stat. For example, a character with the pillar playbook might trigger guiding comfort by assuring someone they did a good job. Normally, the character would roll harmony, but this could also be in accordance with their support principle. Sometimes you'll want to call someone out on their principle. If you know someone is acting in a way that contradicts one of their principles, you roll with the target's principle and on a hit, they acquiesce and change their ways or mark a condition. A weak hit will allow them to challenge you back. They can shift your balance or you can choose to mark a fatigue. If you miss, then they will convince you to act on one of your principles instead. If an NPC calls you out on one of your principles, then you can deny a call out. You roll with the principle that you are being called out on. And on a hit, act as the NPC says, or mark one fatigue. On a strong hit, their words have a large impact and your balance is shifted towards the principal. On a miss, you stand strong and your affirmed action will let you clear a condition, clear one fatigue, or let you shift your balance. When an NPC tries to shift your balance, you can resist shifting your balance. 
you roll without adding anything. On a miss, their words cut deep. You mark a condition and shift your balance twice. On a hit, you keep your balance and choose one option if it's a weak hit or two if it's a strong hit. You can clear a condition or mark growth by proving them wrong, shift your balance opposite of the principle, learn their principle, or if you already knew their principle, you take plus one forward against them. If your balance ever shifts off track towards a single principle, you lose your balance. If you trigger this move, then you might have to give in to your enemy, act out, or do something extreme before running away. You will also move your center towards the principal and won't be able to affect the story until your character has time to rest and recover. Those are all of the balance moves that can be triggered. The core rules also outline ways to create and use custom moves, so give that a read if you want to add your own. Next video, we go over combat exchanges. Small exchanges where you use your elemental bending, weapons, or technology to fight. Keep on learning, and we'll see you in the next video.